Hi guys, I'm my monster fan. Welcome to my latest post. Today we're going to be taking a look at my autograph display room. First of all, we're going to look at two Clint Eastwood displays because I'm a big Clint Eastwood fan also, and then we'll get straight on to the other stuff. So enjoy the tour. Here's my good, bad, and ugly display with a signed photo of Clint Eastwood and autograph book pages signed by Lee Van Cleef and Eli Wallach. So moving on into my display room now, we'll go straight to the Dirty Harry display. And as you can see, there's a nice signed photograph of Clint Eastwood there from Dirty Harry. A replica ID card and a police star. That is a prop replica is made of metal and the uh, wallet incidentally is cut out for the star professionally. And there we have a pair of uh, Ray-Ban Balarama sunglasses, as made famous by Clint Eastwood in the movie. And a replica 44 Magnum with Smith & Wesson markings. Now this is a, a model kit that was made by the Japanese company Crown Models. And there we have a card, signed card by Andrew Rumson, the protagonist in the movie, Scorpio. So moving up now onto the horror stuff. This is an enlarged print of the famous book cover art for a pictorial history of horror movies. Now this particular piece of art was done by a gentleman named Tom Chantrell, if you didn't know, and uh, Tom Chantrell is most famous for the Star Wars 1977 poster, but he was also Hammer Films' preferred artist. And it's said that Hammer Films sometimes sold a piece of a, a film or an idea to distributors like Warner Brothers and so on, to, to, to raise funds to make them make films just based purely on um, artwork by people like Tom Chantrell. So I find that amazing. I'm sure that wouldn't happen today. So on the inlay there where you'd normally have uh, information uh, about the book, I've put my own personal dedication there to Tom Chantrell. Um, a little bit about his life, etc. And as you can see, I signed this because I was intending on uh, selling these enlarged prints on um, eBay. Uh, it took some time to restore this image, as you can imagine. Finding a book cover in pristine condition, a book cover from the 70s that is, in pristine condition is very hard. So, using various different source material, I managed to create what I think is a very, very nice print. So, moving on up now, we'll take a look at some uh, Images of the Lament configuration from uh, Hellraiser, the Hellraiser movies on parchment card to make them look old and very, yeah, very dated. And here we have a signed photograph of Peter Cushing from The Vampire Lovers. We then move down and there's a signed photograph of Doug Bradley from Hellraiser. And then a complete Cenobite cast signed photograph from Hellraiser. And then a super rare Kevin Peter Hall Predator autograph. And then a signed photo of the lovely Raquel. We then have a signed photo, another signed photo of Doug Bradley. And a replica puzzle box made of solid hardwood with brass etched parts. You can't get no better than that for props. In terms of puzzle boxes and sideshows collectibles pinhead figure. Below that we have a replica of Christopher Lee's Dracula ring and then we have a uh, vial of uh, ash. Now one of these was used, one similar to this was used in Taste of the Blood of Dracula and Dracula AD 1972 at the beginning. It is in actual fact a Victorian toothbrush holder, for those of you that didn't know. And then we have the Octoys on quarter scale Terminator figure. And that's like a stop motion puppet for anybody that knows anything about Hot Toys. Every joint moves on that particular figure. So moving over, we'll see my Bella Lugosi sign display. Now I design all my displays myself but I have a gentleman named James Lindley 
of matrix frames and displays who produces them all for me. He sends them to me and then I uh, mount all the other extra images in there, etc. and the autographs and that. He can do all that sort of stuff. Um, but I like to prefer, I like to have it be hands on and like to do a lot of that stuff myself. So I always mount the images and autographs myself. So mirroring the uh, Bela Lugosi one, we have a Boris Karloff Frankenstein display. Now this is very special. There can't be many of these out there. This is a signed, hand signed Christmas card in the style of a business card. It's probably part of well, it, it most surely is. Uh, must have uh, been. Um, Boris Karloff's personal stationery back in the early 30s when he became famous and that is a Christmas card also. Now that Christmas card is the front cover. It is actually open and there's a window in the back of the display and it's printed in the green the same as what, what the Christmas tree is on the front. It's printed from Dorothy and Boris Karloff. Now this is very important because Dorothy was married to Boris Karloff at the height of his fame when he became famous in 1931 for the role of Frankenstein so it kind of puts a date on this particular piece of uh, you know item and Dorothy Stein her maiden name as she were was um, the mother of Boris's only child Sarah Karloff as most of you horror people would know so staying on this side, we'll move over now to a nice signed book page by Dwight Fry. That's super rare. Again, all my displays were made by Matrix Frames and Displays, so a big thumbs up to James Lindley for that, because they're just phenomenal. And this is my Lon Chaney Senior display, The Man of a Thousand Faces, autographed. And then moving over we have his son, Lon Chaney Jr. Signed book page. And then we have a Gunnar Hansen signed photograph from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. And then we have a nice montage of aut autographed book pages from the golden age of uh, horror. Cedric Hardwick. Charles Lawton, Peter Lorre, John Carradine, Turham Bay, and Lionel Atwell. That's very special, I'll try and get all that in for you. Then we have a nice 8x10 of Christopher Lee in one of his most famous and preferred roles. Rasputin the Mad Monk. And then below that we have another fantastic autograph, Boris Karloff autograph display. I love this picture, this is a fantastic print this is. And there we have a Dave Prowse, Frankenstein the Monster from Hell. 8 by 10 David Rintoul. Legend of the Werewolf, 8 by 10 signed picture. And then we have a Ben Aris, signed picture, the lead uh, zombie in Plague of the Zombies. How is Plague of the Zombies? And this is my Creature from the Black Lagoon display, with Ben Chapman's autograph, which is down there on the left mini replica signed poster by Rico Browning and a Julia Adams signed card and again I think you'll agree this is a fantastic creature from the black groom print and there's my Clint Eastwood replica poncho and I even have the uh, sheepskin bodice underneath not sure if we can get that in and shirt just uh, try and get that for you. I'm not sure if you can get that, but well, not to worry. You can see it at the top there, and a the sign that my daughter had made for me. For me, <laughs> Mark's man cave, monsters, mags, and more. So moving over to the right now, 
There's a f quite a few DVDs here. Most of them are horror films. All eras and... And then where am I? Vincent Price display. Signed of course, book page. And then we have uh, autograph book pages signed by Nigel Bruce and Basil Rathbone. For me the most famous and the best Sherlock Holmes of them all. And then we have a Christopher Lee signed post, uh, picture, 8x10. It's in gold writing, I think you can just see that and get that in. With a vial of ash and a vial of blood and a replica ring. Not as good as the one I've previously shown you. This one I made up myself. But it has the Dracula crest on it. So that's an image from Dracula Prince of Darkness. Then we have a Planet of the Apes display with Ron Harper, James Norton and Roddy McDowell on. That's from the 1974 short-lived uh, TV series, which I always liked. I do actually have the uh, autographs, various autographs from the 68 movie, Charlton Heston movie, which I will be doing a display of in the very near future. So we have a nice 8x10 Peter Cushing image from Beyond the Grave. It's a nice signed photo, Let's see if we can get that in there. And then we have a signed book page from Christopher Lee with images from the Curse of Frankenstein of course. And moving up over we have another Lon Chaney Junior display, signed book page. Incidentally he's the only actor to play Frankenstein's monster, the werewolf, the mummy and Dracula. And there we have a super rare Oliver Reed signed photograph from The Curse of the Werewolf, 1961. And below that we have a nice Frederick March. There's Dutch Jekyll and Mr Hyde print with signed autograph page by Frederick March. And another Clint Eastwood, uh, Clint Eastwood, uh, Christopher Lee signed photograph from Dracula, 1958. I'm sorry about the quality of the image. If it depreciates at any angles. A nice Claude Rains autograph book page. With two rolls. That he played as Phantom of the Opera and The Invisible Man 1933. And another Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing display. Two first aid covers from 1992, Halloween, October the 31st, 1992. One by Peter Cushing and one by Christopher Lee. Incidentally, Peter Cushing died just two years after that, I believe. And here we have a another film prop, which I'm not going to go into now, with a Dracula crest ring, as worn by Bela Lugosi, and a mummy scarab ring, as worn by Boris Karloff in The Mummy 1932. And then we have the piece de resistance, I would say, of Bride of Frankenstein displays with a superb Boris Karloff autograph Colin Clive autograph, Ernest Thesiger and Elsa Lancaster autograph so that is my Bride of Frankenstein display I actually have another Boris Karloff autograph which I'm going to be doing a display of and a joint Peter Cushing Christopher Lee display in the very near future. I just can't get enough of them. It's my OCD. And there's a nice uh, mummy's sarcophagus. That is actually a DVD case. There's a lot of Hammer Horror films in there. And I have another Bella Lugosi display. Now this one's, I haven't got no wall space for this one. 
So you'll have to excuse me here. I'll try and get down and show you as much as I can. Now this is a fabulous piece because on the left here is an original program from the Theatre Royal in Brighton with Bella Lugosi played on stage in the Hamilton Dean production. He played Dracula. Um, probably one of his last appearances on stage as Dracula because he was knocking on a bit there. Um, and that is the original brochure. And what I've done in a, on a piece of old parchment paper, uh, which is an off-white like the brochure, I've uh, photostatted the uh, copy of the uh, centre pages and as you can see there it clearly says Mr Bella Lugosi in a production of Dracula and that's got the full cast and credits on that centre page there. So that's a copy of the inside of that actual brochure and then below that of course we have a nice signed book page of Bella Lugosi. So that's my other Bella Lugosi display. So there's a Boris Karloff one to come a Planet of the Apes 1968 to come and another dual signed um, Christopher Lee and Peter Cushing display to come. 